All righty, here we go. Francis Ford Coppola's $120 million budgeted Megalopolis could open to a disappointing $5 million. You know what other movie made $5 million? Am I racist? <laughs> I'm being serious. And that movie was less than, it was about half of that was the budget. Yeah, I believe what? it was maybe over a million for a million to two million. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, Francis Ford Coppola's sci-fi epic Megalopolis, the self uh, director's self-funded passion project, is tracking to a disappointing five to seven million box office debut. The film released by Lionsgate is expected to play in 1,700 North American theaters in its opening weekend. A single-digit start would be underwhelming for a movie that costs above $100 million to produce. Coppola has a lot riding on it because the 85-year-old Godfather and Apocalypse Now director ended, it, ended up independently financing the film for $120 million. After its Cannes film release, uh, Lionsgate uh, agreed to release and market the movie in exchange for a distribution fee. Basically, well, I learned from the Q&A for this um, that he financed it by basically selling off a lot of his wine business. Mm -hmm. And by the way, Coppola made more money on his wine business business than all of his movies, all of his movies. So um, that brand just really hit people. So and I also learned during the Q&A that, you know, who owns Apocalypse Now? He does. It has no distributor. He owns the movie. Wow. So, and I bought it before on Blu-ray and all that, but just, he has the rights to Apocalypse Now. I don't think he personally needs the money, but um, basically uh, this is going to be one of the biggest, biggest flops of the year. I'm telling you right now, it's, it's poised to do very poorly. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. Even the trailer, you can't tell much of what it's about from the trailer. Yeah, it's, Alan, you haven't seen it. What? Do yeah, you mean? the trailer is too weird for general audiences. I'll put it yeah. that way. Uh, there's nothing in the trailer that will say, "Hey, what are we going to do this Friday night? Let's go see Megalopolis." You know, it's very much an art film, and and very much directed toward fans of not only Francis Ford Coppola but anyone. Any of the any one person in the cast. Um, did did you get a sense that during the Q and A that he he realized what's happening? No, uh, no, he was proud. He was excited. He talked about showing uh, Spike Lee the first hour of the movie. Um, I don't know what the running time is. I know it's over. It's about two and a half hours. Over two hours for sure. But. Um, my God, uh, this will be in history, not something that ages well. Whereas I think that Apocalypse Now aged well. Apocalypse Now, looking back, there's so much amazing about that movie. That, um, you know, I even when I first saw it, I didn't get the last third of the film, the, the third act with a Brando was kind of middling, but mm -hmm. leading up to that, it's epic apocalypse now. Epic. Oh, yeah. Well, and Godfather for crying out loud. Yeah. Godfather. But Megalopolis has none of that. Zero. It's, it's, it felt like they made it up while they were making it. <laughs> like, why don't you try this? Say that. How about if I do this? So yeah, it, all over the place. It, it feels like uh, his reflections on the world. Yes. A it's, personal journal. <laughs> it's like uh it's like an essay he would write about futurism and city design in the New York Times or something. A guest, you know, op-ed or something. But as a movie, I I you know, if it's opening with Five million in seventeen hundred theaters. That's a that's a certified flop. Yeah, and I would bet you that Lionsgate is going to get a lot of that money up front if they haven't. Well, because by the way, know. that they charge a fee. Mm -hmm. There, it's basically a service deal. Yeah. So they pay Lionsgate 
to put the movie out and market it. You know, yeah. they so Lionsgate is fine. They didn't finance the movie. They lose nothing. You know, they they put their branding on the beginning. They put out posters, trailers. They do a basic release the film. But I mean, yeah. this is disaster. Yeah, I mean, my point is Lionsgate has been taking a lot of L's this year. Uh, I, maybe they have two hits. Uh, well, you have to look at did they look making the movie and distributing the movie two different things. Okay, so Lionsgate is in the clear on this. I don't know what their deal is with the Crow or or know. Borderland, right? Or Borderlands, like like who funded those projects? That's where you got to track the money. But with this, it was Coppola sold off uh, part of his wine business. And, and um, you know, it's uh, you could call it his folly at this point. Yeah. yeah I mean, if you're, if you're, if you have that kind of money, uh, go make your movie. Why not? Don't let anyone tell you what you need to do. Just make your movie. At least that's what you can say about it. He can't whine and moan about the studios getting involved like his other films. Uh, this is his, and he's got to take responsibility for for uh, what's up on the screen. Or he is taking responsibility for what's up on the screen.